Good morning. If I sound a little odd, it's because my nose is really stopped up. Have you ever ran into somebody that let fear change their personality? And how do we deal with that? I'll talk about it in just a second. I have seen tragedy unfold for people, or crisis happen. I've also seen everyday life just occur to folks, and people get stressed out. Sometimes people get kind of angry or ugly toward everyone when this happens. Sometimes they behave in a way that they might normally not behave, because they're so upset at the circumstances of their life. Sometimes I think people allow fear, fear of the unknown, fear of what's coming in the future, fear of all these things dictate their behavior. I've also seen other kinds of people who deal with their fear much better. My dad, when he was in the hospital every time, no matter what it was for, he always tried to make people laugh. He was always cutting up no matter how uncomfortable or how much pain he was in. Very few times did I ever see him succumb to kind of feeling bad for himself. Very rarely. It's only after a long, long time when he just felt so bad he couldn't hardly hold his head up. He was still being positive the whole time. The nurses all wanted to take care of him because that's just kind of the fella he was. My point is, is that sometimes when we're experiencing something bad or negative... We often forget ourselves and forget who we belong to. We sometimes don't behave the way that we should. The old joke talking about if the husband is sick, he's a big baby and you have to take care of him. You've heard those jokes and you see it on uh, TV. My dad used to say something about that. There was this joke where this guy was going, Barbara, you up? Barbara, you up? And she's like, I'm up now. And he's like, that big goof, he could get up and get his own medicine. It's not that bad. It's just a cold. That's how he was. He was very positive. Now, what am I talking about really here? It's because we let fear sometimes dictate how we behave. You know what the Bible says? It says, fear not. Every time God seemed to step into human history or send a messenger there, among the first words that were always spoken is, fear not. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's a theme that is over and over and over and over in the Bible. God must not want us to fear. He knows we will. But he also knows that he has everything under control. So the next time you're afraid, the next time you're facing something that is difficult and it makes you anxious, remember that God is still in control. Our world is so full of anxiety. Kids nowadays are anxious and on anxiety medication. Everybody I talk to seems like I run into people all the time that are on anxiety medications or that they have anxiety all the time. And anxiety is just fear. Now, I realize that sometimes people can't handle things and sometimes there are reasons for this anxiety. I understand that. But I also know that our society has drifted so far from God that we have anxiety and fear that sometimes takes over our lives. We need to remember that the Lord of the universe who created all things is the one who goes before us. And if God is for us, then who can be against us? Do not be afraid. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be kind to each other. See you next time.